Puppy Love Written by Dick Kingsmith and illustrated by Anita Jerom I love baby animals of all sorts, but I especially love puppies. One of the reasons I love them so much is because they're so bumbling. It's the best word I can think of to describe a little animal that bounces about clumsily, falling over its own feet and everyone else's, tail wagging all the time, tongue ready to lick you, and grinning all over its fat face. Some people say that puppies are naughty, but when they do things they shouldn't, like chewing holes in your slippers or upsetting tables and breaking things, or chasing the cat or making a puddle on the carpet, it's not because they're naughty, it's just because they are puppies. We've had lots of puppies in our family, from small ones like Dachshunds and Terriers to big ones like German Shepherds and even bigger ones like Great Danes, not to mention mongrels of all sizes and shapes too. One of the biggest puppies we ever had was a Great Dane. He was only 10 weeks old when we brought him home, but he already looked huge. He lay down on the hearth rug in front of the fire and you could just see him thinking, I may be very young, but I'm already very big, and from now on, this hearth rug is my place to lie. What shall we call him, we thought. Something old-fashioned and gentlemanly, we thought. We chose Humphrey. Later on, when he was full-grown, Humphrey was always very careful not to tread on any of the little dogs that we had and he was especially gentle with the puppies, even when he tried to climb all over him or jump up and pull at Humphrey's tail. One of the smallest puppies we had ever had was a Dachshund. We called her Dodo. I forget why maybe now, but maybe because it was my grandfather's pet name for my grandmother. I remember we drove a long way to collect her from the farm where the breeder lived. Part of the farmhouse kitchen was taken up by a kind of huge dog bed covered with old rugs and blankets and dachshunds, of course. More than 15 dachshunds, to be exact. All adults except for one little puppy. There she sat, perfectly happy among the grown-up. She was the last of her litter. Her brothers and sisters had all gone to new homes. Now she would have to leave too. Her mother gave her one last lick and a nuzzle, and Dodo trotted toward us, tail wagging and ears flopping. For us, it was puppy love at first sight. Once home, we put her down on the lawn and introduced her to another great dame we had then called Daniel. It was long after Humphrey's time. Most puppies would have been terrified at the sight of this monster, but not Dodo. Daniel lowered his great head while Dodo raised hers, and they touched noses. There were lots of things puppies need to learn when they first come to live with you, like housebreaking for sure. We made sure we took Dodo outside first thing in the morning, last thing at night, after every meal, and as often as we could in between. Whenever she did anything outside, we said, Good girl, good girl, good Dodo. There are lots of things puppies need to do, too, and you need to help them. When they're between 8 and 12 weeks, you should take them to the vet to be vaccinated. Until then, be sure to keep them away from other dogs. They need a collar with a tag showing their name and address in case they get lost, and a leash. By day, they need good food, and they need clean water to drink, and at night they should have a bed of their own. Most of all, puppies need love. There's nothing they like better than, be, than to be stroked and scratched and patted and played with. They like lots of affection just like we do. For some time now, we've had only one dog named Little Elsie. She's Dodo's granddaughter, but now she has company. We just bought a German Shepherd puppy who is 10 weeks old. We named her Fly. 
fly is heavy and hairy and bumbling and bright and beautiful. The garden looks as if it had been through a war because it was full of her toys and my old slipper and an ancient hearth brush and a rubber bone that squeaks. There are lots of things Fly needs to learn and there are lots of things Fly needs us to do for her. But there's one thing she won't lack because she gets lots of it already and that's puppy love. The end. Hope you liked it.